Hello everyone, this is Yoshef Not Here and today I would like to create something new. I want to create a video about a topic that I want to throw out there and I want you to discuss it, comment below what your opinion is on that. Maybe somebody has an issue, a problem exactly in this topic and then maybe some of you can help those people. I will also try to help you, but maybe you can help each other. And today's topic is the hardware. Which hardware do you use and do you prefer for open form simulations? Before I start with my points, I would like to draw your attention to my next video where, where I will announce a Christmas competition where you uh, dear um, OpenFOAM users can uh, participate in this competition with the, your C, uh, CFD simulations and the topic will be the drag coefficient of a monkey head. Who says that CFD is not fun? So if you want to know more about this, then please subscribe, maybe even with the new YouTube function with the bell, so you immediately get the notification once I post that video within the next couple of weeks, so you know how you can participate in this competition and what to do for your submission. If you like the video, then please like, share and comment below it. Now, but let's come back to the topic here. I want to talk about the hardware that I use for my open form simulations and I want to ask you what do you use. From my side, very important is the processor for the open form simulation and it depends which what kind of simulation I want to run. For small cases which run uh, very fast and the execution time is, is low, I usually prefer a desktop PC with i7 processors. In the last years, last year, I really liked the i7-6700 processor and also the i7-7700 processors because they are really fast for the performance is very good for the money that you have to invest. For bigger cases, I prefer a server, a rack mount blade, and there I really prefer Xeons, and I had very good experience with the Xeon E5 2697 V4, because there also the perform performance to price ratio is very good in my opinion. Regarding the drive, I really prefer SSDs, where I run my simulations. I prefer SSDs for my system, my slash, my Linux slash, and as well as my home. What not everybody does, because in my home I run my simulations and I want my simulations to run on an SSD, especially if I'm utilizing runtime modifiable, so the simulation checks after each iteration, after each time step, if certain dictionaries are changed and there is uh, quite some IO between the simulation and the disk and for that SSDs are perfect. And also for saving and reading SSDs are very fast. I do use HDDs hard uh, dri uh, disk drives but only for storage of simulation results. F regarding the RAM for desktop PCs I'm usually comfortable with 8 to 16 gigabytes of RAM but for servers, I usually uh, utilize 64 gigabytes for the server editions, for the servers that I use. Usually what I like to do is to buy the hardware and without so any software, without any op uh, operating system installed, because that, that is something that I like to do myself. I'm not allowed to build my hardware myself at the university, unfortunately, so I have to buy the hardware. But I like to set up my operating system, which is some kind of uh, Linux server edition, and then I like to install the software myself, like OpenFOAM, for example, Paraview or GNUplot or anything that I need for my work. 
Now with this, I would like to ask you, what do you think is the best hardware for open form simulation? The best CPU, what kind of drives do you use? What's uh, the best RAM that in your experience, do you use desktop PCs, a workstation, maybe a server or, or a cluster of your university, of your company, or do you use the cloud, for example? What do you use and what is your dream system? Do you buy out of the box hardware systems where you have everything uh, mounted and also pre-installed or do you like to build your own PC and then uh, configure the software as you want? Please, if you have an opinion, then comment downstairs below in the comment section and tell me what do you think. If you like these kinds of videos, these community videos where I reach out to you so we can communicate, if you like them, then please like. The video and share it and also if you haven't done so then please subscribe so you get the notification if I release my videos. With that I would like to thank you for watching and listening and I hope to see you next time.